Dear students and members of the Student Council, I know we all want to dress up and be fashionable and wear our branded shirts and our off-white jeans and our Gucci hats, but imagine having to do that five days a week for 365 days a year. I stand here today to tell you why removing the uniform will do more harm to us students than benefit us. The first reason is that when you're wearing a school uniform, there's no distraction. It removes all the educational barriers that may stop you from your main goal and main purpose, which is education. For example, the people who go for the Hajj pilgrimage, they wear something called an ihram. The ihram is something that has no distractions. It helps them focus solely on worship, which is their main goal. Similarly, when you wear a school uniform, you're going into school for your main purpose, once again, education. Secondly, mental health and self-esteem. We see students like myself who want to be like him and be like her and wear the same jeans and wear the same shirts and this is going to affect our grades and overall affect our mental health and reduce our self-esteem. A research was conducted in the Houston University that stated an average absence of girls in the middle and secondary school dropped by 7% when mandatory uniforms were put into action. Another reason is safety and security. When you wear a school uniform, you have a sense of safety when you go out because you are identified as a student of this school. First of all, a student, and then on top of that, of this school. You have security. For example, we have seen many students who use the diadalas to go very far because they may not live close. When they're wearing the uniform and go on the diadala, they're given a discount, a student fare discount. And they're also identified as Uyu Monafunzi. So he's safe. Wearing a school uniform brings a sense of equality. So it doesn't matter who you are, who your parents are, where you come from, or how rich you are. But when you enter the school premises with a uniform, you all are the same, and each and every student is equal. Lastly, wearing a school uniform gives a sense of pride, gives a sense of belongingness. I can say, look, I belong to this school. This is my school. And even the school itself feels a sense of pride. and say, look, that's our student wearing our school uniform. It feels good. 20 years from now, I'm sure when I'm looking into my school albums and I see my photo wearing the uniform, I'm sure it's going to make me smile and it's going to feel good. So dear members of the Student Council, if not for anything, then let's keep the uniforms for archival and memory sakes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Siraj. Judges, anyone with a question? Oh, I, I was going to say as well, but even if you don't have a question, I'm going to come to you with a mic. This is your zone. Siraj, well spoken. Um, I have a question, however, for you. When you say that um, when students don't wear uniforms, their grades get affected. Can you justify that? Because I know of certain schools in Dar es Salaam where the high school students don't wear uniforms and they have flourished with excellent results, getting admissions into the best universities globally. So how would you justify this point of yours? So personally, I believe that when you don't have a school uniform, and as I said, it's, it affects the mental health of students who fall prey to peer pressure. Because you see, for example, let's say me, and there's another student who is wearing really good clothes and I, I don't have those clothes but I fall peer, under, to peer, under peer pressure because I want to dress like him or dress like her. I want to I wanna be to that level. So that, because of focusing on that and not focusing on what's important which is education, my grades will So fall. does that mean that when you go to school, you allow peer pressure to take over your mental health where you should be actually focusing on your goal purpose which is education and not how you look? I'm sorry, can Does you it, Okay, I'll repeat it again in simpler words. If you know you're going to school to get education, would you allow such things like uniforms or personal dressings or styles to affect your purpose and your goal? 
So what I'm trying to say is that it's not a matter of me allowing it. It is something that will happen. It is something that at the age of students will take place. It is something that is bound to happen because of certain situations that occur. Okay, so are you relating this to a person experience? Um, uh, yes and no. I, I okay, thanks. thanks. So I guess my question would be, so, you know, your talk has been about uniform versus not uniform, right? But even within the uniform, so if you are told, okay, fine, the students are like, you know what, we are okay with having a uniform, but we want to change the uniform now. So all of us will be wearing something, but then we want to change the uniform. So how would you go about thinking about that and coming up with something that everyone would sort of be happy with and what do you think that would be like just as a student yourself what would okay. the uniform be like so changing the uniform is not an issue as long as all the students have the same uniform and there is equality within each student but do you have any ideas about what so for you as a student what would the ideal uniform be like again i i have never really designed the uniform but uh, <laughs> i assume something appropriate for school like like a, like a shirt a t-shirt and uh -huh. maybe some trousers and any color preferences I, and I why I'm, I'm not sure okay so anyone else have a question I think we still have a minute yes. Siraj very well spoken Thank you. I really like the example of the Ihram really connected well. My question is that uh, if it's a community school, is it fair that kids not of the community should have to wear a uniform that is mandatory for the students? Yes. Do you understand? Like for the girls they have to wear a scarf and long sleeves and just because it's a community school or should they be given an exception? Uh, no exceptions because if you enroll into the school, you have to follow all the rules. And if wearing a scarf and long sleeves is mandatory, then you must do that. Because once again, you can't have exceptions. Because if you have an exception, then this person is going to be different from the other. It's going to bring back the whole problem of uh, falling prayer to peer pressure, being different, no equality. Look, she's wearing a scarf and she's not wearing a scarf. So it's the same thing. Okay. Thank you, Siraj. I think that will be all for questions.